Then one said to him, Look, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. But Jesus answered and said to them, Who is my mother and who is my brothers? And he stretched out his hand toward his disciples and said, Here are my mothers and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. And that's just talking about the body of Christ, how we're, we're called to do uh, the will of God. There's a little devotion here that uh, we looked up on the phone. If I can get the key, I'm locking in your phone. 
and I'll just read it to you. It said, it has been said a family can survive without a nation, but a nation cannot survive without the family. God established the family by bringing a man and woman together in marriage. Then came children and grandchildren. That is his order. The Bible tells us, however, that in the last days there will be an attack on the family. One of the signs of the end of times will be a lack of respect for one's parents. We read in 2 Timothy 3, but no, this, then in the last days there will be hard times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. And we can see that this family has a lot of respect for their parents as we just honor Granny by telling funny stories on her. It goes on to say, we have a lot of sight. We have we have certainly lost sight of God's commandments to honor your father and mother, and in your days may be long upon the land which the Lord has given you. Notice the commandments to honor your father and mother, not honor your father and father, or your mother, or your mother, or your mother and her lover or partner. We are tampered with God's word in order to prevail. Know this: Satan always hates what God loves. God loves the family. He established marriage for a man and a woman as a physical reputation of his love for the church and the church love for him. God effectively says, you want to know how much I love my people, look at the way a Christian man loves his wife. You want to know how much my people love me, look at the way a Christian woman loves her husband. This is my model. This is an example for all to observe. Therefore, it should come to us as no surprise that the devil would try to undermine the family. And so... I still say that the reason we have such a, a strong family bond is because of, of our foundation in Jesus Christ and what Granny and Paul has instilled in all of us and then the kids instilled in their kids and, and so forth and so on. So I'm just grateful to be a part of this family. And I have a, you know, two great families. And my mom's side family is a great family too. So very blessed. So uh, I ask Lane to close us in prayer and then we'll sing how great is our God. And as we're singing that, we'll think about it. How God has truly blessed us with a great family. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to be here this weekend. We thank you for all the weekends we have in our memory that uh, we've been able to be here. And Lord, we just pray that as we each go our separate ways to do the things that are, we enjoy doing today and spending time with our families and Lord, we just pray that you watch over Texas. Give us a safe day, Lord. Help us enjoy and build stronger bonds of, of family together. And Lord, I just pray that uh, thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. And Father, we just pray that you bless us today and help us to be a blessing to others. And Lord, if there is one here today that has never made a decision to accept Jesus Christ, that this something said or done here today, Lord, might make them open to receive in that wonderful gift. We thank you, Lord, that when you, to best express the kind of relationship you want to have to us and what the Holy Spirit would bring to pass, you said you wanted to be our Father and that you give us a spirit by which we cry out, Papa, or Father, Abba, Father. And Lord, just help us to, to embrace that relationship. And thank you so much for your love for us for giving your son Jesus to die for our sins. And help us, Lord, to be willing to lay down our lives for others. And Lord, all these things we ask in Christ's holy name. Amen. Amen. Amen.